Snest Drunk. Hi everyone, Snest Drunk here wishing you a happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, happy birthday, happy life. I uh, hope you're doing okay. Just wanted to post a quick thing about um, a Secret Santa thing I took part uh, in with a bunch of other retro YouTuber gamer people, spearheaded by Super Derek. There will be a link right there. Detail it, you know, if you want to watch that. It's a good time. It was well done. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was really cool. And I want to show off what I got here, um, what I received. Real quick, I got Vice Project Doom for NES. Um, I will be doing a review of this game very uh, within the next few weeks. It's a really cool game. I think it's very, very good. The other thing I got as kind of a joke, I hope, was Let's Ride Dreamer. Complete in the box for Game Boy Advance. And since, you know, since I got this game, let's give it an old-fashioned review. Let's review it like I would any other game. So, uh, here you go. Here's my review of Let's Ride Dreamer for Game Boy Advance. All right, so let's check this out. Let's Ride Dreamer for the Game Boy Advance. Surprisingly, this game is a role-playing game. Hey, I love RPGs, but uh, this might be the most boring RPG I've ever played in my life. You pick a horse from a set of about 10. You pick its color. Aw, oh, you can't pick its name? That sucks. Oh well, I like the name Louie anyway. You level up your horse by grooming it, giving it water, and giving it stuff to eat, and by raking up its crap. What the hell? I want to ride around on the horse and stuff. I thought this was let's ride, not let's clean up shit. Yeah, I get the feeling I'm not really the target audience for this game. Anyway, even the simple tasks of grooming and feeding are not intuitive in the least. It took me a long while to figure out how the hell to do this. Turns out there's a second screen if you move your cursor all the way to the right. How was I supposed to know that? It's just a pain in the ass to figure out basic stuff. Come on, eat the stupid hay! Eat it! The instruction book is no help, it just explains why each item is important, but not how to actually use each item in the game itself. Then finally, after you figure it out and you level up enough, you can ride around and eventually you enter an equestrian contest thing. You know, where you make your horse jump over stuff. But the controls are so goofy. Come on, go! What's wrong with you? Okay, that's done. What else is there to do? What? My horse is too tired? Screw that! Well, that's really the gist of this game. You level up your horse, you ride around, you hang out, you do horse things. Yeah. I need a drink. Or five.